we're going viral. Chris Tom Brady posted on Instagram recently, 31 weeks until kickoff. That is a lot of time to get better. Does this shirt say pliability? Yes, it does. Chief. I actually zoomed in on that. That's a part of the TB12 method, How about this? Nick. Come on, get on board. Snoop checked in, said, if you need a wide receiver to work out with Champ, I'm available. Brady was all about it. Tomorrow morning, Uncle, I'm in L.A. You let me know. How many good, How many routes you think Snoop is good for? Two, maybe three? I don't think many. I also, so Snoop, <laughs> Snoop just going to slide on this whole thing? Our guy Snoop just going, we just going to pretend his little Instagram video didn't happen? He's, okay. All right, that's fine. I'm good. I'm, listen, I like Snoop. It's fine. That's fine. I didn't uh, know. I don't understand I thought, why he's doing that. What? I'm just asking. I, uh, listen, I'm just here to ask questions, America. And we're just, we're, Snoop's just going to get a mulligan. Okay, no problem. Wouldn't be okay. the first time he got a mulligan. I, right. uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it took him a long time. To, okay, that's All fine. Right. All right, so go run routes with Tommy. No problem. Okay. At some point, uh -huh. someone's going to get in my ear and tell me what you're referring to. Just let it live, Nick. Let it live. Come on, man. It's Uncle Snoop. Kenny, last season was supposed okay. to be Cam Newton's bounce back. He spent the summer of 2019 rehabbing his injured throwing shoulder, and as we know, this past season had to be shut down due to a foot injury. He couldn't quite get it right. So here's Panthers team owner David Tepper on Cam's future in Carolina. Listen, I'm not a doctor. You know, I, and I said it a million times. Is he good? is he healthy? And how does I mean? He's not a doctor, so you know. There's a lot of uh, different things can happen. But first is, is he healthy? Tell me that, and then we can talk. That seems pretty non-committal, Kenny. You think Cam Newton should be the Panthers' starting quarterback next season? Because I'm not sure David Tepper does. No, I don't think he should be the starting quarterback, and I don't think he will be the starting quarterback. When David Tepper bought the team, he went out and said that this was not going to be a quick turnaround. This was going to be a long process. That's why he gave Matt Rule, their new head coach, seven an unprecedented years. contract, seven years, $60 million, could go up to $70 million with incentives. So I think that they're looking at this thing from a practical standpoint. Whether you have a healthy Cam Newton or not, based on all of the losses that you've had this offseason already and the organization pivoting off of Ron Rivera to a new guy, I, I think this is the perfect time to move off of Cam Newton. He's got a very controllable contract. It's a one-year proposition for a prospective team at $19 million in base. So I think it's a contract that you can move and bring back assets. And if you're going through a rebuild, it helps to have more draft capital. So I think there's a lot of reasons why the Carolina Panthers should move on from Cam. All right, before I get my opinion on this, I want to ask you a question. So if they are in full-on rebuild, who's the best player on their team? Christian McCaffrey. So it's a running back, and I understand he's a hybrid. He also is pass catcher, but he's a running back. Shortest shelf life, historically speaking, of any position. He's also, in short order, going to be up for a new contract. If you're in rebuild mode, what are you doing with Christian McCaffrey? Well, you probably have to move off of Christian McCaffrey. So when you're you... trading him as well? Well, yeah, you might as well. I mean, I don't understand why you would continue to try to depreciate an asset. You know what I mean? Yeah. At some point, you're going to have to pay Christian McCaffrey. That bill is going to come due, and he's seeing what other running backs are getting around the National Football League. When Derrick Henry gets paid this offseason, that's only going to make his asking price higher. So, I mean, it does and make And this, sense. by the way, is the year that after three years when Gurley got paid, mm -hmm. when... Who's the other running back who just got paid? Zeke. Oh, and, Zeke. Part, the, and so this, this is the time when guys have gotten paid. So that could, so you would you would flip McCaffrey and really just rip this thing all the way down to the studs. Well, I mean, it's almost already down to the studs. So I mean, it just sure. makes sense if the Carolina Panthers aren't going to be very competitive, whether you have either player healthy and available for the entire year. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense to hold okay. on to those guys. And then you couple in the injury concerns that we've had from Cam. It's been three seasons since we've seen Cam play a full 16. So sure. I have some serious concerns about whether or not you want to put him out there this year, especially when you can get something in return for him this offseason. Well, and at this point, if I'm Cam Newton or I'm Cam Newton's agent, I say, okay, that's enough. You, you guys were non-committal with me before. You, you saw the disaster that your quarterback position was without me, and you still are non-committal, even though it's going to be a full 12 months before this next season rolls around since I suffered that Liz Frank injury. I'd like to be moved. If I'm Cam Newton, I don't want to be there anymore. He hasn't said that. He hasn't gone that far. Hearing that from the owner, I'd say, don't, don't worry about my health, bro. I got you. Trade me. D go ahead and because you're right. It is, to me... 
that is a very attractive one-year trial. I don't think Cam's in a position where he can demand a new contract upon arrival with a new team, right? He would be playing out the one-year $19 million left on his deal, see if he can stay healthy, see if he can get back to Pro Bowl form. But I don't want to be there if I'm him anymore. Not only because Greg Olson's gone and Luke Keekley is retired, and they have seemingly never quite been able to draft the right wide receivers on the outside, but also because... I'm the best player in the history of your franchise. I've, I've, always I've always conducted myself well. Like, Cam has been great in the community. He's been a great leader. His teammates adore him. We have had Greg Olson on the show multiple times talking about that. Christian McCaffrey on the show talking about that. And you're, it, 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 and that's the, that's the comment you make. We got to see if he's healthy, which, by the way, if you are going to move off, off me, hurts my value. If you do just say we're going to cut you, whatever it is, hurts my value. I don't want to be there anymore if I'm Cam Newton. I've said for a year the Panthers' best option is it's to Cam stick Newton. with Cam Newton. They seem to be noncommittal on it. If I'm Cam, I'm noncommittal on them. Because I think there are teams out there, Canty, whether it's the Chargers, whether it's the Bears, if they want to admit that Trubisky's a sunk cost, whether it's the Titans, if the Tannehill asking price gets too high. I would throw the Colts in that conversation as well. Colts would be really interesting. And you finally have Cam behind a great offensive line. Like, there's, a no, the, hell, the Bucks. if... I think Bruce Aarons love to have Cam Newton if you decide you don't want Jameis Winston. There's a lot. The, the Patriots, if Tom Brady goes somewhere else, the Patriots seem like the exact type of team that would trade a mid-round pick for a one-year trial of Cam Newton, even if they want to continue to develop Stidham. If I'm Cam, I don't want to be there anymore because you are publicly saying, you know what I mean? Hey, how's, how's the marriage with your wife going? Well, we'll see. We'll see if she gets back <laughs> together. I, 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 I'm not saying we're getting divorced, but I'm also not saying we're going to be together in a year. Like, okay, well, it, it, then, then send me the papers and I'll sign them because that's, to me, what David Tepper just did there. But you seem to think Cam has more in the tank and more left than you do. I think the jury's still out for you on how much Cam can offer a team. We know he's not going to get back to MVP Cam, but how far back do you think he can get? Well, here's the thing. I don't think any team is going to sign up for Cam Newton being their starting quarterback and penciling him in for the week one guy. I just think with the injury history, there's a certain amount of risk that comes along with that. I think it's going to be a situation where he'll be competing with an incumbent that's on a controllable salary. That's why I threw out the Bears. That's why I threw out the Colts because both of those teams have young quarterbacks at a relatively controllable number. They have the cap space to be able to absorb a contract like Cam Newton's or if they don't have it, they can easily get to it. So it just felt like that makes a lot of sense just because I don't think any team is going to go all in with Cam because there is a significant risk associated with it. And, and I would, if I were a team out there and my other options are to pay Ryan Tannehill a bunch of money, to pay Teddy Bridgewater a bunch of money, I absolutely would pencil Ooh. Cam in as my week one starter. Prior to the TJ Watt hit, and I understand since then he, it's the shoulder injury and then the foot injury, two di totally different parts of the body, two totally different injuries. Cam Newton, for all his rugged style of play, had missed three games in his career. Prior, so he is a guy who, it felt like he was dinged a lot, right. but he, fa he found a way to be available every time, or nearly every time, prior to the end of the 2018 season and all of last season, I, I think Cam's still got another chapter left, and I think the Panthers will regret it not being there. You're absolutely right. I think he does have a little more left in the tank. I don't know if the Panthers will regret it, because that team seems like they're actively trying to lose for Lawrence, the oh. guy that's right down I-85 at Clemson University. Oh, well, that's interesting. We'll see how that plays out, but let's not forget in all of this, the team did float out there early December that they would enter train trade talks for Cam Newton this offseason. Yep. Let's not forget that that happened. Yep. When somebody shows you who they are, believe them. Yep. It seems like the Carolina Panthers have shown Cam Newton they're that, they're, that they're ready to move Who's on. Who's my guy that I liked again? You liked Kyle Allen. Kyle Allen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kyle. Uh -huh. uh, coming up. I have name? to be reminded who the guy is okay. I like. Okay. Come, have you met me? Uh, coming up, could Harden and Westbrook actually be the best duo in the NBA? That is next. This is First Things First. And then you immediately went...